In today's video I'll be showing you some simple editing tips for better gaming videos. What's up guys, it's GTB with Filmora, here to empower your inner video creator. So here's a little bit of a background about myself. I'm a video creator from London who makes gaming related content as well as tutorials for my YouTube channel at GTB. Earlier this year I was invited by the Filmora team to join the FCC program. Since joining I've really enjoyed working with such a friendly team. I've now been invited by the Filmora team as a special guest to show Filmora fans editing tips using Filmora 12. But yeah, if you want to see more of my content, just check out the channel by searching at GTB or using the link in the description. Let's get into it. So the first editing tip is for when you initially begin a project to help structure your footage. So to do this, you want to bring all your recorded footage into the timeline. And from here, you want to place them in the correct sequence for your videos. Then you need to identify any corrections that need to be made. Corrections could be audio, chroma key, color, anything. Yeah, as you can see, there's so many settings you can go through. Then filter through and remove any unnecessary footage. From here, we'll go through the footage and highlight the key moments for the video using markers. So what you want to do, you want to focus on each segment you have made using these markers. Then you want to cut any unwanted footage out of the project. So this is anything undesirable such as long silences, stutters or just general fails you know. So eventually you have all the desirable footage for your project. We now have a filtered sequence of footage. From here my next few tips will be to make use of any additional components that you want to add to your video. These include transitions, effects, audio, titles and stickers. For me personally I will start with transitions. When selecting these you should think about the style of the video you are making, the length of the clip that you are transitioning to and from as well as complementary colours that will go with your footage. So I have this clip right here yeah, it's just the end of a gameplay where my teammates dying and it's going into a new game so with this i can firstly identify that it's a call of duty video the clips are pretty long so we're not going to have any problem with any transition lengths and then thirdly we're going to look for complementary colors so as you can see we have a lot of blue grays and toward the end of the clip is very red and yellow and we fade in obviously a lot of blue there so we've got all types of colors and you want to go through your transitions and say for example right here we've got a plane that lowers in from the top left and goes down to the bottom right if we go to say linear wipe to a diagonal point and it should marry well with the movement of the plane you see so the majority of filmora transitions fit your video so to select the best transition for your video you want to look at complementary colors complementary movement and the length of the clips you're transitioning to next up based on the type of video i'm making i would add audio and music so this is something that i like to incorporate in my gaming videos as watching a game on its own can get a bit boring if you add a bit of audio in there you can engage with your viewers a bit more so again the same principles apply for music as well you want to find complementary music to your video so say for example your audience was into rap then you would want some like hip-hop beats or anything like that i got nine minutes 30 of content but more has added a beautiful thing yes yeah, audio stretch so you ain't even got to repeat your audio or cut it down or anything all you need to do is click this button here audio stretch and then just drag the end of the clip when you need it but then even after this you can go through your sound effects so say for example right here i die just before i start shooting i'll cut the music clip and we're going to drag the rest of the music clip till after the whole scenario happens and from here you want to fade out and here i can put in like a danger sound effect you kiss your mother with that mouth <laughs> literally start when i die yeah, so it's going to be fading out from it <laughs> Kiss your mother with that mouth? <laughs> But yeah, that's how you would find the best music and audio effects. After this, I would start adding titles. So any type of text, lower thirds, subtitles, anything. To select complementary titles is pretty easy. So we'll type in Warzone. As you can tell, some Battle Royale packs and all of this. But say, for example, you like this one and you want to find similar ones. Pick these three dots right here. You press Find Similar. And then, so instead of searching for a title, this particular game or something, we'll find similar ones to the ones you like. This is the same series that it brings up. It shows you similar results. So that's how you find your complementary title you want to look for complementary colors animation and fonts so for everyday videos i'd leave these two components to the end but once everything else has been added then you can use your effects and your stickers so out of the two i'll start with effects effects and stickers can be used for all types of stuff so you've got video effects where you've got ai portrait you've got distortions you've got background removal you've also got overlays you've got audio visualizers as well they've also got extra filters that you can use here in lut's you can also try out new blue effects and Boris effects to help boost your video production. And you'd follow this by adding stickers, but some videos don't require any stickers. So for everyday video making, if you look through stickers and you find some that match your video, then use those. If not, you don't want to clutter your video. You can even use these stickers to make videos out of. On Filmora, you can actually record as well. So if you wasn't actually importing no media, you could record media straight from here. Like stickers though, in general, they're useful like 
other stuff such as intros, outros, maybe just transitions in general. You've also got this template area where you can actually change what kind of video you want to make. So say for example you want to make a TikTok video, make it with rounded edges here. They have split screen options with different backings as well. Like this has a phone on it, this has a laptop, you know. Like you've got end screens already made up. Also for more I have now added more tools and features which could be useful in different scenarios such as the adjustment layer so to get to the adjustment layer you want to go to media and you want to go down to the adjustment layer on the left and you just click and drag it into your timeline you can expand this and shorten it to however long you want so the adjustment layer is very good here yeah, because we can actually adjust the whole project or specific clips within our project together you can adjust the size of the layer the positioning you can also change the blend mode or the compositing and color correction so yeah that's very handy another feature that is good for gaming videos and montages in general smart cutout this tool is very easy to use and can have multiple purposes to do this you want to click on this icon right here ai matting tools you want to click smart cutout basically whatever you draw it will highlight and keep you want to find a bit of your video where you're quite visible and it can't mistake what you're drawing for other things if you copy your clip layer them both on top of each other as i've done right here then the bottom one you just disable smart cutout in the ai tool so then you can overlay your smart cutout video over its original content change the color or make an effect or do something funky with the cutout piece and this will be very cool for montages because you can get many effects out of this for more 12 now has so many features and effects that you can use that will enhance your video quality and now you know how to make better gaming videos make sure you like the video and subscribe to the wonder shift for more channel for more video editing tips keep creating